Hi, this is your first instructor video. And basically this is just a warm up, um, how to draw lines. So lines, the basic element uh, when drawing. So for this class, you need three basic uh, drawing materials. Uh, this is Paper Mate Flare or a thicker pen, small, uh, thicker line weight. This is Sharpie Pen, uh, ultra fine, uh, a thinner line, and then just a basic pencil. For most of my demonstrations, I use the Paper Mate Flare. So that's the thicker line weight, heavier line weight, and I do that because it's easier to see in the video. So the first thing we're gonna talk about when we talk about working um, with basic line is, is how to work with your hand and your arm uh, when working with line, pen, against paper. And what you wanna do is instead of doing short little lines across, um, you are going to actually pull your arm. You're gonna pull your arm across the paper. So how to do that? So I'm right-handed, so a little different if you're left-handed, but I'm right-handed ha and I'm gonna hold my pencil between my thumb and my pointer finger. And then I'm gonna rest my hand on the paper. And you can practice this a little bit, but I'm going to pull my arm across the paper. So I know that when my son was in baseball, we learned a lot about hand-eye coordination and drawing is a little bit of hand-eye coordination as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start at a point and then you're gonna move your eye to the ending point and you're going to pull along the paper. So you're gonna just visualize and you can practice a little bit quick or slow, pulling across the paper. And you know, there, there you go, that's pretty good without um, a straight edge. So pull your hand across, let's try that again. And you can see that I have a small construction line under the paper. So 11 by 17, that's a pretty big piece of paper. Um, so I do have a construction line, but I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm pulling my hand across. So with shorter lines, you can go a bit quicker. So good practice, um, this is your handout. The first exercise is just a horizontal line. And basically I just provided some dots for you. And now they're, they're far apart. So, you know, that's gonna take some time to practice where you're going. But the more you do this and the more you practice, the better you're going to be. So your first assignment is to complete this entire page. I'll end these last couple really quickly. All right, so what you don't want to do is, is you don't want to use your wrist. Because when you use your wrist, you tend to get lines like this. So exercise one line is to work on the horizontal line. These printouts are available to you at the Phoenix College Copy Center located off of 10th Avenue and Osborne. And the first time I had these printed, unfortunately, I had them printed double-sided. So I asked them to print these again, and so hopefully by the time you go and pick those up that you can get a single-sided copy. The next line exercise is the vertical line. So I find that it's, it's harder for me to draw a vertical line. Um, and so oftentimes I don't tape my drawing to a surface and I tend as when I draw or when I sketch versus drafting, 
I tend to go ahead and move that paper around. A trick that you can do when you're drawing vertical lines for the hand sketch is to rest your finger along a straight edge and then the same thing drag down. So drag. So this is a little different than in drafting because in drafting, if you have Roberta, they train you to actually draw up. So if you feel comfortable doing that, if you feel comfortable pulling up, you can do that as well. But typically, I guess it's an understanding that it's easier just to drag down. So go ahead and complete this exercise. You could put some construction lines on if you want and work on vertical lines and horizontal lines. So if you find that you are excited about hand drawing, when you're on the phone, it's or you know, speaker phone, I guess, or in a Zoom call or something, or listening to a lecture, it's nice to have some scrap paper around and just practice basic lines. If you're interested in um, orthographic lines, which are lines on an angle, again, you can go from the top down if you want or up, whatever you're more comfortable with. So exercise number one is to turn in your horizontal and your vertical line just take a nice picture of that with your phone or if you have a scanner at your home office or something, take a picture of that and turn it in online and you get points for trying. Next exercise is line and some basic tips working with line.